everyone, today I'm filming the American Horror Story 1984 and I'm going to try my best to turn myself into Montana Duke from the show. She is by far my favourite character from this season, I love 1984, it's really really cool, the aesthetic, the vibes, it's a really good show. And I think I've seen it like three or four times now so it's really really good. I cannot wait for season 10, I'm not sure what it's going to be but I'm really, really excited for it. So today I'm going to be turning myself into Montana. So I've made this little prop for the look. So basically I drew on the handle of the knife and the little blade here with 1984 AHS on it and then I'm going to be putting that through my head here so it's going to be a really cool vibe. Because it's quite long you could have it sideways but I feel like through the forehead like here would look best. So I'm going to have it on my forehead. Now Montana is known for her leopard print like she loves her leopard print and animal prints. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this leopard print jumper for Montana because she would definitely wear something like this. And I didn't have a denim jacket. The only denim jacket I have is a camo print and that's not what she would wear. So I've converted an old denim skirt, cut some slits into it. I'm going to wear this as a faux denim jacket. So DIYing this. <laughs> so I have my leopard print top on and now I can do the hair. So I'm going to roll my sleeves up just so it's in out of the way. So I'm just going to brush through my hair first. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply a wig cap to my head. So now I'm going to take a platinum blonde wig that is cut short and I'm going to be cutting it into the fringe in a minute and then just adding some dark roots to this. But for now I'm going to go ahead and apply the wig. So I'm going to take the middle comb and place it roughly about here on my head. And then take the ends and pull it back and then pull around the side clips. I'm just going to pull the hair round to the side for a moment and then I'm taking the Schwarzkopf got to be glued spiking glue and this is going to hold down the wig on the sides. Just give that a minute to go tacky and then you can hold down the wig in place. So that's the wig on and we'll come back to the hair later on but for now let's move on to the makeup. So now moving on to my foundation and I'm taking the PS My Perfect Colour Double Coverage Matte Foundation. Then I'm taking my sponge and I'm just going to blend that into the skin. Next I'm taking the Collection Sheer Loose Powder. With this I'm going to set the whole face so it's nice and matte. I'm taking a large fluffy brush and I'm just going to pat this all over the skin. Now I'm going to add a little bit of contour into the cheekbones and the nose and I'm taking the NARS Laguna Bronzer and then add this into the cheekbones and bring it back into the hairline. Also going to apply this to the tip of the nose. and up the sides of the nose. Now I'm going to move on to blush and I want it to be quite pinkish red to show up. I don't want it to be a subtle blush because makeup was not subtle back in the 80s. So I'm going to be using the NYX blush in Mocha. This I'm taking a little paddle brush and then applying this to the cheeks. Don't be afraid to apply some. Now it doesn't look like she wears much highlighter, if not any, but I'm going to apply a little bit because I feel like it will look really good with the blush. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some, but you don't need to if you don't want to. I'm taking the Balm's Mary Luminizer for my highlighter. And with this, I'm going to go straight onto the cheekbone and blend that onto the cheekbone. And if you feel like you've applied too much, take your powder brush, go over it, just to subdue it a little bit. 
and then take whatever's left off your blush brush and just go over that as well. So there's a subtle sheen, but nothing too intense. I'm also going to apply some of this down the centre of the nose. Now I'm going to move on to my eye primer and I'm taking the Max Paint Pot in Painterly and I'm popping this all over the lid all the way up to the brow bone. Now I'm going to move on to my Morphe James Charles palette. 80s is known for colour so this is like the perfect palette for this. So first of all I'm going to go in with the blue eyeshadow and of course I'm going to be taking this one here called Playground. And then taking this blue I'm going to pop this all over the lid. Next I'm going in with Punch Me for the transition. I'm going to go round into the crease. Keep it very, very round. I'm also taking Punch Me and putting this underneath the lower lash line. And then I'm moving into a dark eyeshadow and I'm taking this one here called Benny. And this is just going to go on the outer corner of the eye. So I'm just going to pat that on. And just pat to blend just on the outer corner. I'm also going to take a small amount of that and then run that underneath the lower lash line. So now I'm going to go in with a blue shimmer to lay on top of the eyeshadow. So I'm taking this one called Hello. Anything blue and shimmery would look awesome for this. So I'm going to go ahead and just pop this over top of that blue. I'm going over the inner corner as well. Now I'm going to move on to a black eyeliner pencil and this is the LA Girl Glide Gel Pencil. And with this I'm going to line the waterline and the lash line and then smudge it out. Next I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade and with this I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. Next I'm taking the Benefit Speed Brow to set the eyebrows in place. And then for my eyelashes I'm taking the Ico Lash Alert Mascara. I'm not applying any falsies today, just lots of mascara. And with this, I'm going to apply it to the top and the lower lashes. So next I'm going to go with a pink lipstick. So I'm taking a pink lip liner. This is the Essence Lip Liner in Cute Pink. And it's between these two shades of pink. So this one here is like a darker pink. And this one here is like a lighter, more natural pink. And I feel like... Montana should go for the lighter one so I'm going to go with this one here this is the MAC cream sheen in speed dial I'm going to switch to a darker pink to outline it even more and I'm taking the Barry M's lip liner in runway So that's the makeup done, now I'm going to take the hair down. So Montana has darker roots, so I'm going to go ahead and just make them a little bit darker by using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade and then I'm going to use a brush just to darken the roots down the sides. Before we do that, I'm just going to trim these pieces a little bit more. So I'm just going to take some scissors and just start cutting these side pieces.
then I'm going to go ahead and apply the denim fake jacket. And then to finish off Montana's look, she has like chains around her neck. So I have this little chain here. Um, there's no connection point. So what I'm going to do is I'm adding a big safety pin to one end, wrap it around my neck and then attach it here. So it's a big collar. Okay, so moving on to the SFX now. So I'm just tying my hair back. So I'm going to be using the prop that I made now and that's going to be sticking in my head like this. So I'm taking the third degree silicone modeling compound. So I'm going to mix parts A and B together on a little tray and then add a little bit of concealer into this to make the skin tone colour. So figure out where you want the knife to go. I'm going to take the lip liner and just draw the line. And then take the silicone and lay it on the line. And press it in and then put some more around the edges. So once that is dried, I'm then taking the Mayron's Coagulated Blood Gel. And picking up the gel, I'm going to go run this along the edge where the silicone meets the fake prop. And then we just take out the hair clips and this is the finished look so i really hope you enjoyed this american horror story 1984 montana duke inspired makeup look if you like this video please give it a thumbs up it really does help out my channel don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications to be notified of all my future videos just like this one thanks guys for watching and i'll see you all next time bye guys